everyone welcome back to my channel today we're going to be trying a very weird new trend that I saw and I'm just gonna insert a clip here so you can see what I'm talking about I have to try this glitter in foundation but on dark skin I feel like if I use silver it was going to be a little too chaotic a little bit too much I did my little color theory thing and I'm going with a brown extra fine glitter. I just didn't think those big little sparkles were gonna look good, so extra fine. House Labs foundation in the darkest shade. Now for the glitter. Oop, I'm so scared. Oh my god, I'm gonna use that much. I don't wanna go overboard. I do a little mixy mix on the hand and let's apply. Okay, we're blending her out. It feels a little rough on the skin, so if you have sensitive skin, I don't know. Do you guys see this? Because it is giving glitter. It's very subtle and I didn't use a lot of glitter. Does a flash do something, guys? What do we think? It is so subtle, but y'all, period. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put glitter and we're going to mix it in with foundation. That's the, the new trend that I saw and it, when I saw it, oh my God, gnarly hair on my face, so sorry. Um, but yeah, when I saw this video, I was like, you've got to be shitting me, but let's do it. Let's try it. Why not? Um, I, I just, I say why not? So we're going to try this on. I'm probably going to take it right off, but, uh, we're going to try the trend and see if this, maybe this is magical. Who knows? Um, I really doubt it, but I'm gonna use the finest glitter that I could find in my collection. This is Iridescent White by MAC. It's not super fine, but I'm hoping it's fine enough that it'll work. Um, the only other option I really had was Vanilla Pigment um, by MAC, which is not, a pigment is not a glitter. So, and she's using like craft glitter almost, which I don't have any on hand to do, or I'll say, guess I would try it, but um, yeah, the kids have gone gone crazy, the kids have gone wild, and let's try this trend. Why not? What's it gonna hurt? Maybe my face, but I'll try it so you don't have to. How's that, sis? Okay, so we're gonna do on my palette here, uh, and now we'll do the actual foundation with the glitter. So this is the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin 3W. I'm just going to do two pumps on my palette and then we're going to mix in some of the glitter. I mean she doesn't really, she just kind of pours some out so let's see. Okay, I'm going to try and show you but it's kind of hard at this angle to show you what I'm doing. Oh, oh, they falling off the edge. Hold on. Okay, I think, I think that's enough. I think that that's plenty, I hope. This seems to me like it, oh, I was actually gonna use the House Labs foundation. I had pulled it out, but oh well, whatever. I've been leaning on that Makeup by Mario foundation lately and it's really nice. Um, don't mind, this brush is really stained, but don't mind that it's actually completely clean. It's just stained black. Um, from body paint, so don't mind that. I'm just gonna use this brush to mix this together. And she said hers was like, didn't feel nice. It was like gritty, so can't wait. Here we have it. It is, um, it looks like sand. I, I mixed my foundation with sand is what it looks like to me. That's what it's giving right now. So let's just, use it and see what happens. Maybe it's magical. Who knows? Oh, this is a lot. Maybe I mixed in. Maybe I mixed up a lot, but that's okay. We'll go more full coverage, I guess. That'll be our gimmick. I just need, wanted a softer brush to go in with because that other brush was good at spreading it out, but now I really want to pat it down and let it set help it blend out. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> this is like, oh, this is a joke. This looks terrible. And it's like flaking off as it dries. 
Wow, this looks really bad. Like the texture of the skin is, ooh, it is not nice. Like, I feel like if you want to do something like this, because like in the light, okay, that doesn't look that bad from far away in the light. But as you get closer, and I'll show you guys obviously what this looks like in, you know, regular light, not in this beauty light. It looks horrific. I think if you want to do something like this, like this is just taking Dewey to a whole other kind of level where it's like, are you deranged? Yes, I am. But no, seriously. Um, I do not like this. I do not like how my skin looks. Maybe if I, I, I like always try and talk myself into it. I'm like, maybe if I use less, um, I still don't think I would like it if I had used less, but, um, it's a cool effect for the camera, I guess, if you wanted to make your skin, like, look crazy, cracked out glittery, but it's just gonna look so textured. You have to be from far away. Um, I feel like a better way to do this, if you wanted to do this, would just be mixing, like, a highlight, like, a liquid highlighter in with your foundation or even like I think would be better scraping some of your highlighter into your liquid makeup or cream makeup for that matter but this just it is not um becoming of a lady well we tried um I'm gonna show you this in regular lighting and then yeah if you guys want to try it, you can try it at home. It just is like collecting. It made the foundation set weird. And the foundation's like set settling on top of the glitter mostly. So it changed the color of it and it's just like chunky. I guess if you used a really tiny fine glitter, but even then like it's gritty glitter, you know? Like, I don't think you want that. I think you want like a liquid highlight of some kind, like, um, or even a powder highlight if you want to make, if you're not worried about that making, like drying out your foundation. But I think like a liquid highlighter, hold on, let me, let me find a liquid highlighter so I can show you. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you guys really quick before I show you what it looks like horrifically up close in the light, uh, is the She Glam. I have the She Glam Sun Kissed Body Highlighter in, Eros and 102 Eros. And so I like this for face too, but it's kind of strong on top of things. So I think it'd be nice if you like, just if you wanted this sort of an effect, but you wanted it to be like less grotesque up close and stuff, I would just, this is the same foundation I just used. So I'm just gonna pump one pump of each, right? If you were doing two pumps, then maybe do two pumps of each. But any like body highlighter, face highlighter, as long as it's like a liquid, this is gonna be a lot more refined looking on the skin. And if you want that glow, like this is gonna give you that glow. Oh, I also have the the Halo Glow liquid filter, the e.l.f. one. I mean, you guys know. But yeah, that would make it really glowy as well in a not glittery sort of way. But if you wanted the sort of glittery effect, I would just use, like a body highlighter. It's gonna really reflect and be juicy and, um, you know, light reflective and whatnot, but it's not going to affect as much how the makeup is gonna wear and how it's gonna set mixed together because it's like an easier medium to mix, if that makes sense. And also like, yeah, glitter is just chunky. And this is like not, it's very, um, let me see if I can pat this down really quick with the stands out sponge. Yeah, so you can see the difference. This is like still sparkly, right? But like in a more refined, like, ooh, look, it's ethereal. Like, um, it'd be great for your body or, you know, this would be nice on skin on the, on the face, I think but it would be a lot more refined than what I got. 
because this is just like there's no there's no save in this i i'm not even gonna try um one thing to note is if you do do like mix anything with your foundation or whatnot keep in mind that it'll be on your sponge because <laughs> next time i use the sponge i really need to keep that in mind or else i'm gonna put glitter on top of places i probably don't want to so we tried the trend we tried the trend let me show you what it looks like in regular life um one moment okay so here we have bathroom light i'm gonna give you a few different lighting scenarios for this foundation but you can see what I'm saying. It kind of looks like you have really... What are you doing? <laughs> the things I do for this channel. Um, anyway, yeah, so A, it's just unappealing and b it kind of looks like you have like a rash or something or like your skin is really dry and flaking off um like i said the further away you get the easier it is to take and like it's not that bad but the closer up you get whew, she's rough okay i'm gonna give you one more lighting scenario though one moment Stop! Stinkson. No. So my skin looks terrible and he's laughing at me. And uh, yeah. So I'm gonna call this a no. I am gonna say no about this. But if you wanna try it, check it out, you know? Please subscribe, become a Bleeding Heart, become a member of our family here on YouTube. It is for free. Uh, please hit the like button if you like this video and please share it with somebody who you think will like it as well. Leave me a comment for future content you'd like to see and I'll see you guys all in the next video. It costs Bye. money. It, costs it does not cost money. It, it does money. not. It does not cost money. So I'm taking it off and it's like horrific. Um, it feels like glitter. Um, exfoliation is what it feels like to me. Like, there's no other way to really get this off. And it's like, it is, this feels like I'm in the bad place. Like, it feels like somebody's torturing me. Um, this is wrong. And if you try this, you're wrong. And those are cute dogs.